Okay, this is one of the methods that you can use to get your frit on your helmets. You can take a little bit of your base enamel and lightly dust the top of your helmet. Then move your helmet over to this little tray and sprinkle on some of your color bits. And you can put color wherever you want it. Like if you didn't want the whole thing colored, you didn't have to. I just, I'm just doing this to show you an example. Then you always want to make sure that your frit pieces are not in your holes. So now this piece will be ready to go into the kiln. So right now I'm just going to place it on our uh, metal to prepare for the next shot. Another method that you can use to get your fruit on is you can use gum solution, hairspray, or kiln fire and simply paint it on your helmet and then sprinkle it on. I do not like to work directly from large containers because of contamination. And so I usually put a little bit on my tray. My favorite method, my personal favorite method, is the gum solution. Um, I don't know, I just like it. It's messy, it's fun. But I'm painting a little bit on. You can see that I don't have any of the gum into the holes, just on top where I want the enamel to be. Place it on there. Put the pieces wherever I want coverage. Now don't forget that your pieces of frit are going to expand when you put them in the kiln. Now I use a little stick, but you can use a toothpick, a little metal piece of anything you have laying around the house to make sure that the enamel pieces are not stuck into the hole. And then you can also use your metal stick or your toothpick to move them around if you want to move a few pieces here or there. In this case I do, and you can see I'm gently moving them, just spreading them out a little bit so they have freedom to uh, move about. Now if you're like me and you want a little bit more color in the headpiece, you can simply pick up a piece and lay it in place. And for me, that's what I like. So I'm going to go ahead and move it now. And this is the medium size. We've done the small, now we've done the medium, and I'll show you the large next. So the next method I'd like to show you is the hairspray method. And basically what you would do is you would pitch your little pieces in the center. You would go ahead and move them into place where you thought that you would like them to be. Make sure that there's no pieces in the whole area. And then you would spray and then allow it to dry before you put it in the kiln. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and put it over here with the other two that we've done. So you've got the dry method, the brush method, and the spray method. This is small frit, medium frit, or large frit. But you can do these methods using any of the frits. So we're back in the kiln area now, and our pieces have dried. And we're going to go ahead and put our helmets into the kiln. And this firing, we're going to be doing 1385 for about four to five minutes. So we'll come back and show you the results in a few minutes. Okay, so we're back. Now our kiln has been at 1385 for about four minutes. And we're taking the little pieces out so you can see them. So in a few minutes, we'll let you see them again when they're cooled off. These pieces here were fired at 1380 to 1390 in our kiln for two to three minutes. If you like this effect where the larger chunks are raised a little bit for added texture or dimension, that's great. However, if you'd like or you prefer your pieces to be completely flat, simply put them back in your kiln at 1450 for three to four minutes and they'll flatten out. But for this demonstration, we wanted to show you that the larger frit pieces can be used to add another dimension. Okay, so back in the kiln they go. Now that you've seen how they are a little bit dimensional, now we're going to make them completely flat. So back in the kiln they go. 
and we'll see you in a little bit after our kiln gets to 1450 for three or four minutes. We're back at the kiln area and we're working with our helmets that had the larger frit size on it. Now we've had these in the kiln at 1450 for about four minutes and you can see now the enamel itself, the big chunks of frit, have leveled out nicely. We'll come back in a few minutes to show you the small, medium, and large size after they have cooled. Well, we're back now. As you can see, this is the small, this is the medium, and this is the large. And on this color, this is the small, this is the medium, and that one's the large. And now a lot of people will leave the black edges because it looks really nice. But you can go ahead and take a file and file out any little indentations from the kiln stilts. Um, or you can uh, file the black off completely and just show the copper on the outside. It's totally up to you. It's sort of an artistic, creative endeavor for you. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. Work safe and have fun.